human beings and human mind, they're creatures of habit. They fall into habits, and often they're locked there. But one habit that you want to form in life, a positive habit, is a prayer habit. Psalms 32, verse 6 says, Let everyone who is godly pray to you, God. It has been said there are times when we simply don't feel like praying, and that is when we need to pray the most. Prayer is an integral part of daily life, but is it an integral part of your daily life? Or is it a hit or miss habit? Do you pray without ceasing, or is your prayer life kind of an afterthought? With many people it is. Once they fall into a crisis, a challenge, a disaster even in their life, then they'll pray. But they don't pray in a continual way. They don't give thanks constantly in their life for what God has done. Do you regularly pray in the solitude of the early morning darkness? Or do you lower your head at meal times when others are watching? I've known people that do this, and it's an empty type of prayer life. It is a prayer life that uh, is really more for others than for their own soul. The quantity and the quality of your prayer life will affect the rest of your life. Prayer is the most powerful spiritual tool for spiritual growth, and it is also a powerful tool for changing your world, because at the core of you, it will change you so that you'll be more effective in changing your world for the better. So here is a challenge. Make prayer a habit. Replace some of the bad habits with a prayer habit. Begin early in the morning even if you don't have a lot of time, and then continue throughout the day. Remember, God does answer prayer, but God's not likely to grant requests that you haven't made, because you have free will. You have to ask, and then be willing to receive. You have to ask, and then be willing to listen. Spend time with God today.